This is a quick tutorial on how to use Microsoft Windows XP to back up files to a CD-ROM, whether they be pictures or documents. To demonstrate using Microsoft Windows XP to back up files, I'd like to use an example where I have some pictures on my computer that I'd like to back up on a CD-ROM. Now the important thing to remember is when you're backing up pictures or any other files is how to select them. For example, I may not want to select all the files to to, um, to back up to a CD. I may just want to select this file or select this file. The best way to do that is hit your left control key and keep it down while you're left mouse clicking your mouse. This will select the non-contiguous pictures for you to back up. Now as you see in the bottom left hand corner every time you click a new picture using this method it adds on to the amount of items that you selected and it also tells you how much um, megabits you are backing up or megabytes in this example the more I click the more megabytes go up and you have to keep this in mind because a CD can only hold about 650 megabytes a DVD on the other hand if you have a DVD burner could go as high as I believe 6 gig you might want to double check that on Google so that's one way to select using the control key on, on pictures that you want to back up. In Windows there's always more than one way to do something. Uh, there's usually multiple ways. What if you wanted to select all the pictures and you, you knew exactly what you wanted to do, like in my folder it's Essex Invitational and I could select all the pictures. All you really have to do is go to Edit, Select All. There is a shortcut key. If you hold your control key down and the A key, it pretty much does the same thing. Why don't I use that method? Control A. You can see that they all get highlighted and 200 item, 90 items are selected. These are the files that we're going to use to back up to the CD. Now that we know how to select the files, I'm going to say, well, let's select all the files. And as you can see, we have 289 items selected. And now I'm going to get ready to copy them to the CD. I've placed a CD in my CD holder. And um, now we're ready to go. I'm going to click on Copy to CD and as you see it'll do a bit of an inventory and start to um, take all these files copy them to a temporary location on your hard drive and uh, I think Windows does this in case you you want to go and add more later it puts it in a in a temporary location you'll see on the ro lower right hand corner it's saying hey you have files waiting to be written to the CD what do you want to do and we can at this point click on this balloon this word balloon and it'll bring up all the files in that temporary location as you can see you can see all the files that are stored on the temporary location before they are written to the CD backup drive so now that these are all the files that I have I all I really need to do is click on this command on the left write these files to CD you'll see that uh, we can name it something if we'd like. It, it defaults to a uh, today's date but what you could do is call it something a little more um, a little more descriptive for you and if you click on next what it'll do is it'll start to add these CDs or these files to a CD image. Now I'm gonna spare you all the gory details and pause this until we uh, so that it doesn't take three minutes to do what we need to do. The time it takes to back up the files is really dependent on how many files you actually need to back up and how fast your CD-ROM or DVD burner actually is. As you can see it's writing the data and it's counting down and gives you some sort of idea of how long it'll take. Once this process is completed, it, the CD normally gets kicked out of the CD burner and you are completed. Now let's examine the context of the CD just to make sure that all our files got backed up. After you place the CD back into the DVD or the CD uh, player on your computer, you'll see if you open up My Computer, you'll see the different drives that are in there. You, you have your local hard disk drives, but you can see here my, my CD is named SXXC. Remember at the process I named it that? Isn't that awesome? It gives you some sort of idea of what CD is in your computer. If you double click it you can open it up and then you can see all the files that are written on there. These are all your files that are backed up. 
and uh, you can see all the details of them and how much space and that sort of thing. Uh, it took only uh, it left about 464 megabytes of free space, so I I hardly use the the CD at all. I hope this was helpful and gives you an idea of how to back up pictures or for that many for that matter any other file or folder on your computer using a CD-ROM drive and your Microsoft Windows XP operating system. Have a great day.